We've been through development, testing, and now we're into production. The first articles roll off the line in March of 97, and the first fielding occurs in the summer of 98. The most obvious part of the helicopter that is unique is the radome, the mass-mounted assembly on top of the helicopter. That differentiates the Lombo Apache from the Apache A model. Inside that ray dome is an active radar system that enables us to acquire targets at much greater ranges automatically for the pilot and crew. That also classifies the targets into tracked wheeled and fixed wing helicopter and air defense units. Right below that is one other feature that's very unique and that is a passive radar detection system called the radio frequency interferometer. Those two systems really enable the Lombo Apache to engage targets in a fire and forget mode. I feel privileged to be assigned as the product manager for Lombo Apache. This is a dynamic weapon system that will take Army aviation and the Army systems into the next century. The Lombo Apache was really developed with a team scenario. This started out from the very design standpoint where using a virtual application prototyping system, the crew station, the interactive interaction within the crew station was developed using McDonnell Douglas Helicopter Systems Engineers test pilots from the U.S. Army, operational pilots from the U.S. Army, personnel from the TRADOC systems community as a way of developing how the aircraft would detect information, would present that information, and send that information to other sources. Without the ability to work together as a team, we would not have been able to complete the 70-month program within the cost schedule performance criteria that we were given. The Longo Apache to the warfighter is going to ensure that we maintain the technical and tactical advantage that the A-model Apache currently holds well into the 21st century. What this will allow us to do is truly, in any sort of weather conditions, go out, find the enemy, identify the enemy, and then prosecute the target based upon what the ground commander's plan is. That gives us the capability through the radar and the integrated system, which we've never had before and we can really develop the battlefield without putting the crew and the ground commander's plan in jeopardy. When you get in the aircraft, you turn the radar on, and you go fight with this aircraft, it's simply awesome.